Where are you? Where are you? Zoe, Paul, hello you, what are you doing making all that noise?
No, I've not seen Paul. He has left me a series of passive aggressive notes. <laughs> yeah, Merry Christmas to you too. <laughs> no, but no, cat's good. Cat's still alive. I promise I will feed him. <laughs> yeah, no, I will. We'll be fine. No, good. Good, good, good. All right, well, um, yeah, have a good one, and I'll see you on the other side. Say hello to your mum. Yeah, I will. All right, see you soon. Bye. Nassau Bahamas when you're finished. This process only takes a minute. Please press 1 to start the automated survey and receive two complimentary cruise passes. Don't miss the boat. Press one. Now to confirm your eligibility for new lower rates, this could be your final message. Hello, it's Yvonne here. I'm just ringing about that date in December that um, you wanted the malt house in Arbison for, and I'm just ringing to, co to confirm that it's, it's fine. Hello, this is Claire Reynolds, leaving a message for David. I'm sorry, we seem to keep missing each other. I'm really busy this week, but I could see you on Friday. Does that work for you? You gave me some information in your last message. But if you'd be able to record anything that happens, keep a diary. It would be very useful for me. I look forward to hearing from you. Bye. Now, Anne, you've asked me here as you wish to make contact with someone who has departed recently. Yes, my father. Tell me, have you noticed any small changes around the house? Maybe objects moving, not being where you left them? Yes. How did you know? He's smiling. It's his way of letting you know he's still here. I can see him. And he's smiling at you. He wants you to know he's fine. Now, he's saying something about an argument. Have you ever used a Wii 
Ouija board? Um, well, what once. But it was years ago, it was at university. I see. It should be fine, but don't ever use one again. They can cause an awful lot of problems. You tend to open up contact with very low-level, base entities. Often not human, but they can do a lot of damage. Possession. Death. Okay, we're recording. Testing, testing, counters going around. I'm here with David Wells. It's the 22nd of December, 2003, and we're in 722 Ivy Lane. So tell me, David, I've had a read of the diary you've been keeping. You've been experiencing strange things. Yes, it sounds so silly, but... Um... I've been doing this for many years, since I was a child. There's very little that would surprise me. I'm not here to judge or make fun of you. But in order to help you, David, I need you to be honest. I need you to tell me everything. I'm all right. I'm, yes, settled in for my lonely, lonely Christmas. But, um, <laughs> no, no, it's, it's good. Uh, I think I'm going to get a lot done, I think. It's just me and my cat hanging out. Yeah. No, I've not even started, though. Have you... I knew you would, yeah, I, yeah, I was trying not to compare myself to you, so I knew you'd have finished. <laughs> no, I'll get there, I'll get there in the end, but, um, no, I, I spoke to my folks and I said I'd give them a call and stuff on the day, but, yeah, no, I'm quite looking forward to it. Sorry, say that again. someone was letting themselves in, you know, someone who used to live here, but, I mean, I even had the locks changed. Can you tell me the type of things that were moving around, anything specific? For example, kitchen utensils or maybe personal items? Clothing, mostly bed linen. I found sheets in random places all over the house, like, like they're moving around. I see. Quite common in cases like these. But in most cases, things usually subside, and most folk put it down to stress or an overactive imagination. I feel things are different here. How did you hear about the college? A friend of mine was studying a course there in mediumship. She put me in touch with Barbara. Oh, lovely Barbara. And... And here I am. I'm going to do everything I can to help David, I promise. Thank you. I'm not saying this to frighten you, David. When I say... You are not alone in this house. <gasps> Though for the tape, that was the back door banging open. I checked the ground floor windows and doors with David prior to starting the recording. So as well as personal objects being moved about, doors have been opening by themselves. Locked doors. And you've been hearing and seeing things? Yes. Tell me what you saw. That night when I returned to my room, I noticed a light coming from the living room. The Christmas tree lights were on. You would not left them on before going to bed? No. Fireman's nightmare, my brother used to call them. He's a fireman. He, um... Go on. I stood there in the sitting room just staring at the tree. It seemed uh, different somehow. I saw it through the branches looking directly at me. Did it speak or make any noise? No, it was silent, but it was evil. It was evil. Hi Lee. Hey. 
Yeah, how's it going? Cool. Yeah, did they get the presents all right? <laughs> yeah, not to be opened yet, not till the big day. <laughs> cool, well I'll give you all a ring on the day. and um, Yeah, I'll speak to you then. All right. Yeah, have a good one. See you soon. Bye. Before I do my tour, I'm just going to inspect the area David saw the entity. I'm moving closer to the tree. I'm asking the energy in the room. Is there something with the two of us in this room? I'm asking, is the entity that David saw with us in this room? to speak to the house, as it were, the energy. Hello? 
homes as old as this often have a rich field of energy. I'm going to try and tap into it with the help of spirit. Often houses reveal their occupants' secrets. Don't worry, not yours. Hopefully the one we can't see. I call upon Michael to walk with me and keep us safe from any negative energy or entities that reside within these walls. I speak to the house, home of many. Is there anyone else here? Besides the two of us in this room, I repeat, is there anyone else in this house? I shall now try and speak to it directly. I call upon the entity that resides in this home to speak to me. Please tell me your name. I ask you to tell me your name. something moving about. 
two little eyes peering out. Hello? Will you speak to me? Please tell me who you are. He's hiding. Hiding? Who's hiding? He hides under sheets. He hides under the sheets in the house. I don't understand. Who is hiding? Mr. Sheets. He's a devil. A devil. A devil. Oh, God. No. Don't go, please. He's a devil. Get out, get out. He's here. He's here. Devil.
Hi, Sarah. Um, you don't know me. I got your number from your website. I hope you don't mind me calling. Um, but I think I have something that maybe belongs to your sister. If you could uh, give me a call back um, just on this number, um, that'd be great. Um, all right, thanks. Bye. Hello, I can't take your call right now, but if you leave a message after the beep, I will call you back. Thank you.
David! Hang on. There's something. I can see something. In the corner. I can see something. Someone. Who are you? What are you? You're not human. Are you? What do you want here? Tell me. Spirit. by the table in the kitchen. David's gone out to buy some provisions. I'm being watched. Oh, there you are. Is that where you're hiding? What do you want here? I can see it. It's dark, but I can see a form. Come out and talk to me. I can see you. I ask you to tell me who you are.
Was that you? I I'm in total darkness. David! Hang on. There's something. I can see something. In the corner. I can see something. Someone. Who are you? Hey, it's me. No, no, I'm fine. I'm just calling for a chat. I, uh, <laughs> I've had some company actually. Yeah. I've been listening to these tapes. A load of them recorded here in this house by a medium. She's dead. I checked online. So creepy, freaked me out, giving me nightmares. She recorded these voices, one's really horrible. I feel like I'm listening to something I shouldn't be. <laughs> she has a twin sister who weirdly works down the road, she's coming round. I'm gonna give them to her. I know I should stop listening. I kinda wanna know what happened though. I feel like I know her. Have you always been able to see them? Oh yes, since I was a baby. My father said I was always speaking to people in my nursery room. People he couldn't see, just chattering away. When I was seven, I saw my aunt. She walked down the aisle of the church. I could hear the distinctive click clack of her heels she always wore. She sat beside me and looked ahead at her own coffin. She knew I could see her. She died of cancer and she held my hand as my father and mother cried. She said I had to be very careful, that I had to learn to use my gift, how to turn it on, and more importantly, off. It's like being a radio sometimes. You look at someone and their life story comes to you. Or someone wants to give their relative a message. I've delivered so many messages and it's not always welcome. I've learned to shut it off. Hello? There was an old under the hill. Who is this? Who are you?
I want you to stop crawling. When did you die? I
Right. I'm finishing my book, and then sleep. Hopefully. It's 3 a.m. I just woke up. My hand is killing me. I can hear tapping on the glass. I think it's outside the room. It's in this garden, staring straight at me. It's hands. They're like... It's taking a step towards me. What do you want? Come on in. Yeah, very well, thanks. Um, let me. Can I take your coat? Oh, yeah. Great. Come on through. No worries. Thanks. Much better. Um, can I get you a cup of tea? Um, yeah, that's lovely. Sure. And grab a seat. I'll move the cat. <laughs> oh, thank you. There you go. No worries. Thank you so much for coming to meet me. You're welcome. Um, I'm sorry I can't stay long. Mm, that's okay. This is, well, this is a bit weird Shit. being here. Part of me's always wanted to see the house, but. You sound I just. <laughs> I sound just like <laughs> it. <laughs> I've been listening to the tapes. I've heard things, seen things. You probably have. She was the one with the gift. It would make sense that she's still here. I have the odd moment where I sense things, but she, she was special. She helped people, but it killed her, her gift. It was a long time ago, and I try and remember her as she was. The tapes you mentioned. I can get them for you if no, you No, please don't. I couldn't bear to hear them. Maybe you could help her. Help you, you mean? Wolf. Some things are best left alone. I feel like she was trying to warn me. She probably was, and you should leave. It's Christmas Day tomorrow. Go and be with family, stay with friends, just book a hotel if you have to, just be anywhere but here. Throw the tapes away. Burn them, just get rid of them.
It's been in the shadows for a very long time. It's been hiding and waiting. It has form, but it's invisible. That's why it's been visible, hiding under sheets and empty clothes. It's in here now. Be very still. Sheets. 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 Claire. I just feel I should need to come back. I feel I need to to finish. To who's there? What? No, it looks like David. I mean, it's not David. David is dead. Stay back. You are not David. Get back. I bind you, demon, creature of darkness. I bind you to these recordings. In the name of the Mother, the Father, and the Holy Spirit, I can bind you so no harm may come to any other. As you are born of fire, so too you shall be bound in flame. You must leave this house and go towards the light. God, protect me. Surround me with their light. Destroy these caves. I'm the one who lives in this house. What happened to the woman on the tapes? Do you wish me any harm? What do you want? Where are you now? 
one who lived in this house. Not your house. What happened to the woman on the tapes? She's here. In the cold and dark. You wish me any harm? Oh! 